What is up everyone? So another artist series here and as you can tell by this logo right here Flux Pavilion and I hope you guys like the sounds we've been coming up with in the past weeks Again, we're not trying to really mimic the artists, but use their logos and use them as a starting point with wavetables and then seeing what kind of sound we could create out of them so let's see what we could do let's pull this up let's drop this in there so it came out very nice although it like barely showed up so what we're going to do this could be an easy fix just need to find the starting point Oh, and then we go um, process max from all frames. So now that we maxed all the the uh, the frames or from the max one, you know, so now we actually have a nice sound playing. Oh, and I wanted to do uh, remove DC offset, and then we're gonna test it real quick. See how it moves around. There's a lot of ranges in here. You're gonna have to like spin it around because I'm only gonna try to go for like a saw type thing. I like it when it's over this part. When it's over that, it gives me a nice full lead, maybe with some more unison. Okay, that's sounding good on my end. Obviously, let's layer it with the sub real quick. We're gonna layer it with a different sub. Now, chorus and reverb, I usually use a lot on these type of saws, so. Another thing, we're gonna EQ off some of that low, low. Get a little warmer. Make it a little wild. So I'm gonna layer this the sound just I'm going to write something real quick.
way. Oh, I did that one. I'm like, wait, what? Those are not very good chords. Anyways, so let's fill this sound out now. Get it nice and powerful. Probably gonna have to squash it a little bit on a compressor. But what I want to do is add maybe some grit. So maybe just one octave. You know, and then you'd fill it out to eight bars, maybe a change, and then I'd maybe even rework the chords and find something a little smoother across the eight bars. And then you would change the kick and stuff, you know, and fill out your song. But that's the patch for this one. We're going to go in, maybe add some noise to it and fill that out because of the, you know, the white noise. And then we'll set up a macro for the filter. But for the most part, the song is done, so let's just uh, put some noise in on this. Do you like the cans? So adding that white noise does fill it out. And again, I'm gonna set up a macro on a filter just so we have um, macros to really automate the sound into whatever track we're writing with it in. So now, simple. probably have to turn all those into it. So let's do this on the cutoff. And 
let's implement the cutoff a little bit. So maybe something like this. faster and make it actually sound good to the song but yeah that's the preset for you guys is it's literally just something to make chords out of and it in a way kind of resembles flex's style i know it doesn't sound like him but he likes to use these chord type things in his songs and really get musical while you know complementing it with some of the heavier sounds and stuff so yeah it was uh a learning experience because I don't make much of these sounds the like saws chords leads type things so it really is like not much to it it's mostly like the chorus the reverb dimension compressor really brought it up to par and layering it with some white noise or just any noise that kind of like sizzles behind the sound and makes it bigger and brighter and just more energetic that's a real key and then just a basic cutoff, something to automate the sound, or like an in intros, have it slowly get brought into the song and stuff like that. It's very powerful, super simple, but very powerful. And uh, yeah, it, this is the preset for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Next week's topics are going to be, uh, for the artist series at least, we're going to do Getter's Picture. And we're going to do Nightmare's Picture. That's it for this one. I'm going to save this one in the Dropbox for you guys. So if you want access to that Dropbox folder with... I don't even know how many presets there are in there for Serum. Let alone, uh, we got Massive in there. I think Silent, we have some presets in there. FM8, we have some presets in there. We have Ableton Projects. We have Ableton Chains. We have Sample Packs. Like, all that stuff free. All you got to do is click that link in the description. Put your email in. We'll send you access to that and a bunch more music producer training stuff. So if you want to produce music and you're looking to keep progressing forward and getting to those next steps, definitely join that and subscribe. Like this video if it has helped you out and comment what artists you would like us to, uh, you know, use their picture or logo and try to make a sound out of it. And I must save this in there for you guys, right? now so I, I apparently sometime this year dropbox is going to be switching this folder that won't be public so definitely make sure you're in and stay in on that email list because when it does change i will have to email you guys the new link to access this folder uh i think it's later in 2017 so we still have months to go or maybe i might change it early just so we're ahead and it's not just psh, i wake up and like shit link changed uh, so yeah, look at all these presets and projects in here. This is just the Serum one, and then it, obviously if you go in these folders, we have wavetables, which I haven't saved you any, but technically there's all the wavetables in these presets that we made that you guys could extract and use for your sounds. Uh, let's just put chord um, flux compositor. I don't even know if I spelled that right, but... That's what we're naming this one. So if you like this sound and want to use it in your songs, go check that out because that's where it's saved and this is what it's called. Again, thanks for watching. Peace.